Reading Pioneers is proud to present What is Supply and Demand? Personal Finance for Kids Created by Kelly Lee Charlie loved baking cookies. He had a bakery that sold cookies and ice cream sandwiches. Everyone loved going to his bakery. Summer came. Hank and Ava were feeling the heat. It's so hot. I want to eat something cold. Let's go to Charlie's Bakery and get some ice cream sandwiches. Great idea. That sounds so yummy. There was a long line at the bakery. Let's get in line. The ice cream sandwich is expensive. Charlie's ice cream sandwiches sure are popular. Charlie doesn't make that many ice cream sandwiches in a day, so the supply is low. Supply is the number of things that are for sale. In this case, it's the number of ice cream sandwiches Charlie had in his shop. It's summer now. The weather is hot, so people want to eat cold things. That's why demand is high for his ice cream sandwiches. Since supply is low and demand is high, he can sell them at a high price. Demand is how much people want something. In this case, it's the number of people who want to buy Charlie's ice cream sandwiches. Ava and Hank waited in line patiently until it was finally their turn. Hi, guys. Hi, Charlie. Two ice cream sandwiches, please. Thanks. The ice cream sandwiches were delicious. Winter came. It was very cold. Eva enjoyed a cup of hot tea. All Hank could think of was something nice and cozy, like a bowl of warm soup. I wonder how Charlie's Bakery is doing in this cold weather. There were still people buying cookies, but no one was buying ice cream sandwiches. Hmm, people don't want to eat cold things in the winter, so there is less demand for my ice cream sandwiches. What should I do? I have an idea! I will lower the price of my ice cream sandwiches and see if there is more demand for them. Cheaper ice cream sandwiches attracted more customers, but not many more. Oh, Charlie lowered the price of ice cream sandwiches. I'll get those instead of cookies. Ice cream sandwiches still weren't selling well in the winter. What should Charlie do? Suddenly, he thought of something else to sell that might be popular in the winter. It was yummy and toasty. I think people will really like warm cookie sandwiches with melted marshmallows inside. A marshmallow sandwich! Charlie added the new item to his menu. The marshmallow sandwich was popular. His bakery had a long line again. Charlie was glad that people liked his marshmallow sandwiches and that he could sell all he made every day. But he wanted 
to make more. I have an idea. I'll buy a mixer so that I can make marshmallow sandwiches faster and make more every day. The supply will go up. But I'm not sure I can sell all of them. I should lower the price so that more people would want to buy them. Demand will go up. Charlie lowered the price of his marshmallow sandwiches and was able to sell all of them every day. His bakery made a lot of money that winter. Dear Parent, Grandparent, Caregiver, I hope you and your child enjoyed this book. Supply and demand are the fundamental elements of most economic principles. A great majority of what happens in our daily lives can be explained by supply and demand. The price of various foods in supermarkets, the price of cars, the stock market, the housing market, and even college admission, etc. Once children understand the basics of supply and demand, they can then learn to appreciate the multitude of moving pieces that influence the economy and better understand the world around them. Here are a few things you can do to improve your child's understanding of supply and demand. Thank you, Pioneers, for reading with us today to the book, What is Supply and Demand? by Kelly Lee. This book helps express the reasoning behind store owners choosing their products to sell and the prices at which to sell them, which I think is easy enough for young children to understand and acknowledge. This book is the third of a four book series on personal finance for kids. If you enjoyed this book, you can support Kelly by visiting her website, econforkids.com, which has the entire series dedicated to informing and teaching children about money and finance. Kelly can also be found on Twitter at econ for kids and Instagram at econ books for kids. Additionally, this book is available on Amazon as a Kindle ebook, hardcover, and paperback. So I hope you show your support in one of these ways to help out the author, Kelly. Links to everything are available in the description box down below. I'm so grateful that Kelly contacted me to read this book with you today. If you have a book you'd like to be read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, so we can turn it into the next video. Also, it would help this channel a lot if you like the video, share the story with your friends and family, and subscribe to stay tuned for the next Read Aloud being uploaded. Unfortunately, this is it for today. While waiting for the next upload, remember to visit Amazon to get a copy of this book so you can help teach about supply and demand to your child, student, or loved one. This is going to be it for now, so thanks again readers for joining us today, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye!